What is up, Rod? You're real deep cool. Get ready to come at you and give you the exclusive. The exclusive. Now, you know, I didn't even look to see if I was the only one doing this. So let me let me look real quick before I before I claim exclusive. I mean, do claim the exclusive. And he don't even know if he's exclusive. So let's let's look it up here. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, Friggin' View. And let's type in what I'm gonna talk about tonight on Open Box. So we're gonna go to search. We're gonna go to Armani Pre. Uh, this is called Ambra. Eccentrico. Make sure I spell this correct. E C C E N T R I C O. Let's search for that. And it looks as though this is not an exclusive. Someone else has done it. A first impression of Ambra Pre, Ambra Eccentrico. It was done by the fragrance guy. Sorry, it's all good. So I'm gonna do my uh, unboxing and uh, first impression. But I'll be right back. I gotta take care of some bits. Right? I'll be right back. Check out the music. Oh, I'm riding real deep, cool. And that's on the mind CD. The first song only the child. Now put out the double CD on the mind an official double CD for this year. I gotta go. I'll be right back. I'm back. So, uh, let's get on with it. And, of course, as I'm doing this, I'll be telling you some stories. So, because y'all know this how I do. I keep it real. Uh, what had happened was, I got a catalog in the mail from Neiman's. And, um, it had, like, three new smell goods it was coming out with. And it was in the women's catalog. So, I'm like... All right, all right, it's probably some old y'all means. I ain't, I ain't gonna be messing with it like that. So, I was like, all right, let me check it out. So I read them, and the first two, I was like, you know what? I ain't even feeling the first two. I'm actually looking at the Fragrance Vibe video real quick. I don't even know who the Fragrance guy is. I don't know whether he was part of the Fragrance guys or whatever, but uh, okay, nevertheless, I don't need to see anymore. Um, so, uh, hold on, my bad. Get together here. So I saw this, I'm not blaming this, Amber, and Centrico, like, this might be tight. So I went to Fabranica and checked out the notes. I'm like, oh, what? Taco bean, cinnamon, fruits, plum, patchouli, amber. Everything. So then I read some of the reviews. One one guy said he wasn't feeling it. Another guy said it was absolutely great. Ten out of ten. That that was it. I'm like, look. First of all, I had patchouli at the end. I'm always down with earthy patchouli. Um, cinnamon, which is good for me because you know you have cinnamon in Herod, and uh, you have a nice play of cinnamon in uh, Epic Woman. So I'm down with cinnamon. Tonka bean, Tonka Imperial. You know I like the Tonka. And they're saying that's what most people smell the most. It's the Tonka. But the plum is what got me. I'm like, yo, I got bullion. I was kind of skeptical about bullion. So what I did was, I think I sprayed up. You know, when I sprayed up to go out to check it out, I forgot what I sprayed up with. And I sprayed up with Makalai. Montel's Makalai. Which, I should have sprayed it with bullion. But today I did the bullion spray up. I put bullion on this muscle, and I put um, I put uh, the citrical on this muscle right here. And they're totally two different plums. 
Now, it's not a plum like an Andy Warhol plum with Bond, New York, and it's also not the plum that you get in Ood One from Emma Gallif, Brooklyn. It's, it's just a different plum. Everybody have a different plum. And there's more plums out there, but, you know, I'm going for the plums that I trust, and that's what I do. Coming from Armani Prive, I respect Armani Prive. already have um, uh, uh, Boys the Ascends, which, man, I really dig that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right to Neiman's, on my way. With the Neiman's, first blast. She sprayed it on me. Yeah, I have a sample here. I was saving this for my man, but he said he's going to pick it up, so I'll spray it on me now. First brass, and we all act like this is the first brass. And the oil, I saw the oil stick up. I'm like, oh, yo, this is holding on, right? I saw the shine, the sheen was on that joint like that. Can you see it? Almost like a perfume aroma or like a, a Anwaj oil. I'm like, yo. And it just blasted off. And you smell the fruits. You smell a little bit of the taco bean, but you smell the plum. It's just, it's automatic awesome, man. Yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, you ain't got to worry about me bonding. Let me, let me go and re-smell Cure Amethyst. I was already done with this. I already knew. I was going to know what the tax was going to be. Two, went up, it's 265, I think, what, 265, whatever. 284 for the whole shebang a bang Man, what? I wore this yesterday. There was nobody who did not compliment me yesterday anywhere I went. Anywhere I went. And if you're in it like me for the ladies and the ladies like where I'm sniffing, then you know it's on and popping. I'm going to go ahead and put some on top of the chrome dome. I know you don't do that. But actually, I'm very good to bed. I'm going to take me a trip to New York tomorrow. Or maybe even uh, AC. I'm not sure where I'm going yet. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, man, I mean, it's just popping. So I want to thank, I, I was looking for Mary Beth, who usually worked when she was on vacation. So I want to thank. Ellen Brett, she really, really took care of me. And we sat there and we just continued to talk. We to my layering and, you know, she taking me through more of, of the uh, of the fragrances. And, and, man, we were just talking, talking, talking. Oh, man, we had a ball, man. And I was like, well, can I get some samples? She was like, I got you. And that's not all the samples. What is this? You know, sometimes my phone be coming on on its own with that with that recorder thing. That'd be crazy, y'all. I'm gonna put this in here. So we're not gonna go through everything that's in here because I'm trying to make this a short video. I'm not trying to do this all night because I, I gotta get ready to get up and uh, see if I'm taking a trip tomorrow to NY City. I like to, boy. So yeah, man. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. It was just an easy buy for me. I had one brother say he didn't really feel it, you know, for the money, bada bing, bada boom. And like I said, everybody got their own opinion. I can understand that. But for me, it was just easy money. Because like I said, I, there's no doubt about it. It's just, it doesn't smell like anything I have in my cage. That's factor number one. Number two is I sprayed some on me and I walked around with it. I ain't cracked the bottle. I can always take the bottle and take it back now if I want to. Let me crack the bottle. You get the sample first. Walked around with it. I, I forgot where I went. I think I went to Nordstrom's. I went to Nordstrom's to get me some samples of uh, tobacco oud and um, and uh, tobacco oud and what's the other joint I like? Uh, uh, patchouli Absolute. And you know, I'll show them, always show them my fragrance collection. They said, What is that you got on now? I'm like, I said, It's called, there's a new thing by Armani Prouvé. And, uh, you know, it's called uh, uh, Amber Citrico. And it's like, oh, I never heard of that. Okay. Well, that, that's what it is. That's what smelling now. Oh, it smells so nice. Thank you very much. I made it myself. I was back in the studio, and I made a song, and then the, the music notes came off the, off the board, came off the studio, and right into the bottle of juice called Amber Citrico. Yo, man. Now, here's the dry down. On the dry down, you get this very, very sweet, Amber Accord is and it's not linear linear in other words I think what really swaps out is right now I smell the fruit and cinnamon which is automatic for the females not to mention this morning when I went to pick up 
my Andrew Fezzi. Um, she was like, oh my God, you smell, you always come in here smelling up my place. I'm like, cause that's how I do, baby. I come in there and I smell it up, you know what I mean? Which brings me to this conversation. What, 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 you know what I don't understand about women is, they say, I like a well-dressed, good-smelling man like you, Raj. I'm like, cool. You know, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you seeing I'm taking the time out to do this, and I take care of myself, you know. But the main thing is I work. Working man. Nobody gave me nothing. Which brings me to the story I saw today, and then we'll come back. Because it popped in my head. Don't know how I do it. It popped in my head, right? And then we'll crack open the y'all main. Um... I was going to G-Town Avenue to pick up the jacket, and as I was picking up, uh, the brother was coming up the street, and uh, the brother was driving a black-on-black -black Rolls Royce Wraith. He had on a little top hat and dreads coming down. No, didn't get it from F.C. Kerbeck. He had an F.C. Kerbeck tag on the back. A Rolls Royce Wraith. Look it up for yourself. W R A I T H. Hey, look it up. T H E. Wraith. Look it up. Just tell me how much that car costs. Next time you talk to me, next time you comment, just tell me how much Rolls Royce Wraith costs. This dude riding up G Town Avenue, coming up to Chestnut Hill while I'm crossing the street. Now, this other car, the Nissan Sentra, he was coming up. The Nissan Sentra was backing the car, trying to go into the space. And dude was like, yo! Yo! Do you, do you know what's happening? Some people don't even know what's happening. Nissan is like, there's 20 Nissans in a Wraith. You know what I mean? And this fool just backing her car up. Dude got his Wraith right there where he's supposed to be waiting for the light. And she's trying to back down into a parking spot. Dude was almost about to go flabbergasto. Give me a Wraith one day. I like this. I like the silver and gray Wraith. With the with the with the uh, with the red gut, cinnamon gut, not cinnamon gut. Oh, what you call it? it was like a reddish gut. What you call it? It's not cinnamon. What you call it? Reddish gut. Anyway, I had a reddish gut. That's the one I like. I did a video of that. If y'all check out my videos, you see my uh, you see what I did a little tour in uh, FC Kerbeck. Anyway, so yeah, I like a man who smells good whatsoever. So I get this email from the sister, and she was like, "They like your profile. We like you. That's too much for me." And I'm like, well, what do you mean by too much? She's like, no, I don't know what to say. I think you're just a little too much for me. So I can't understand what's too much for me. So naturally, I start to deduce too much for me as opposed to, oh, I like my man smelling like that. And I came up with the conclusion is a woman want a man smelling good and looking good as long as she buying the clothes and buying the smell goods. Now, let's move on opening up this box. Because it makes no sense to me that you see what I do, I smell good, and you know, a lot of women like I'm bragging. Everybody bragging and boasting. I do this to turn other people on. And the people who know me know. And to my to my to my three YouTube dislikers, I, sh I should have put up that I was going to do this video so y'all can, can be at the ready dislike button on my YouTube video automatically. Clowns. You know what I mean? So anyway, the people in the fragrances like I am and in the fashion know am I they know why I do this, and I know why I look at them and how I learn how to do this. Looking at them do the same thing. Other people just can't understand, you know, you, you doing your thing, you buying fragrances, you spending on, you know, a nice amount of money, whatever. You know, you work for it, you know what I mean? But some honey going to tell me, oh, I like my man to smell good and everything. You know I'm saying, but I do smell good. That's what you said. You said you like a man who smells good and look good. I do smell good, but you like you too much for me. They want you to look and smell good, young men and fellas, especially you single dudes. They want you to look and smell good as long as they're buying what they want you to wear and what they're buying. But see, that makes you a dependent. That makes you weak. That takes away your strength as a man. Never let a woman buy you anything, you know, that's going to define you. You buy what you want to define you. If they want to buy you a little gift, well, you told them, look, babe, I want this Eccentrico. It's going to cost you 280 with tax. She's like, oh, I got you, babe, because I got money like that. You know what I mean? That's why we're together, because we both make that loop. Then that's cool. But she's like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't like you wearing that. I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna buy what you, I want to buy. And you got other women just don't try to understand you, period. And you try to turn them on and stuff, and they don't want to be, you know, like that. And it's like, all right, that's cool. You know, whatever. Hey, I'm going to unbox this. 
as y'all well know, I like to keep my plastic intact and keep my boxes intact. So I ain't gonna mess around with that and mess that up. I'm gonna put that over here. And here's the box. Taking it out, and I take it out from the bottom, of course. Cause I'll, you know, it's gonna make bottom or top, but you can't see the bottom. So I'll take it out from the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bing, bang. And here we go. The bottle is not the most, well, you got a little housing there for the for the bo bottle. Sits in that little cut right there. And it's not the greatest of presentations for the kind of money, but the money's in the juice. Look at that top. That top is so beautiful. Now they have other ones. Look at it. You still can see the shine on my hand from that spray. From from the sample. That that's from the sample you can still see the shine on my hand. Alright, anyway. It's the bottom. Most of you know what this is, and here's the top. And they have some beautiful tops. Like for their other line, they have gold tops. And I, I, I smelled the uh, Myrrh Imperial yesterday. It's, it just smelled too close to something else. So there wasn't no need for me buying that. But I do want Cure Amethyst. There's no doubt about it, I want Cure Amethyst. And uh, it has a purple top to it. So I do want I do want uh, Cure Amethyst probably next. I already have, like I say, uh, Boise Sins. Boise Sins, whatever. I already have that. that. That's a nice piece, too. See, there it goes. See, this keep cutting on. And I don't want it to cut on, man. You know, like somebody trying to bug me, cuz. Like somebody trying to bug my conversation or something. How the mic just gonna come on? I ain't asked for the mic to come on. It's just coming on. That's crazy, yo. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Popularity is what it is. All right, so that's it. We're gonna spray this on for the first time for mine. Not a lock on Greg Gonna be. I'm not going out. Oh, the initial blast is just unbelievable. It's just sweet. And being that I wore a uh, uh, Montal's muck a lot yesterday, which is cotton candy, strawberry sweet. They were smelling this over top of the muck a lot, and I sprayed the muck a lot like 20 times. I was I was just a sweet candy bomb yesterday. And some people smelled the sweet, and some people smelled this as well. But man, I'm trying to tell you. Gentlemen, even for women, women, if you wore this, you're gonna be my wife. If you came to me, you smell like this, you will be my wife. There will be no doubt about it. First of all, because I know you just, you're not just going to buy anything. You wouldn't spend some money. Oh, look at that kid with a little, uh, comes with a little cloth. Nice, nice, all right. But it's not going back in there, it's going in the cage, so we're going to put it back in the box. Again, the notes are tonka bean, cinnamon, fruits, amber, Plum and patchouli on the box on the back end. And like I said, when it dries down, I've worn it for two days now. When it dries down, you get this sweet amber. And it's just, it's just beautiful and it's gorgeous. And it just makes you want to spray up again. It's like, oh man, this is ready to die now? This is ready to die now? Now I'm ready to spray up again. It's just awesome. And uh, I'm going back to work next week, so I'm not going to be wearing this to work. Because, of course, it, it costs too much. But I will wear it. If I have a day off, if that's possible to have a day off, I don't know how I do. I get it in. But if I have a day off, it'll definitely be whenever or when I get home, you know, from uh, when I get home from work, and you know, I put, I put my, I put my, uh, get that fashion thing popping. I'll, I'll spray it then. But I'm not gonna be wearing this to work. But I will try to wear it all week. Not that I have to wear it all week to find out what it's about, because I've worn it for two days. I know what it's about. I know what it's about in the heat. I know what it's about not in the heat. I know what it's about. I mean, I know it starts. I'm going to tell you this. It explodes off your skin in the heat, yo. Man, I'm telling you, people were like, oh, what is that? They were just smelling it. And I was kind of sweaty, you know, because it was hot yesterday. It was humid and everything, man. It was just explode. It wasn't smelly. But as y'all well know, as I was talking to the SA, like being a vegetarian, I don't have a lot of meats coming out my pores or whatever. So if I start to sweat, it's just going to smell like me. And it will smell like any byproducts. It's, I don't get down like that, okay? And I was trying to explain to as well that how pretty much, you know, I wash up. I wash up with a natural soap. And then once I get done, I put a light coat of Vaseline just to get rid of the ash. And that's it. That way, you smelling nothing but the juice. I mean, unscented Vaseline, not scented Vaseline, but unscented Vaseline, light coat, rub on top, I'm done. Names, all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? It's a pow! Uh, I wish I could show y'all my Mayanis. But the ones I was get yesterday, I don't know if y'all saw them on my page, my Facebook page, them drawers is hot. 
Only thing I like about them, like these are calf skin, so I don't mind them having that crinkle in them. You know what I mean? Because they, they calf skin like that. But um, as far as the ones I was going to get yesterday, when they pinched up, they pinched up real bad and they leather. And I know if they pinched up, it's like it was kind of hard leather. I know once they pinched up, they weren't going to look that good. So I decided not to get those. I, was, I went the wingtip with that same type of style, but they had a wingtip on sale. So I didn't get those. Anyway, that's what I got for you. Ombra Eccentrico. Fruits. Last forever. Last forever. My man was like, yo, I heard the, the, the silage was moderate. Well, if you look at here, well, for granted, it says that. But again, it depends on your diet. It depends on what, what you're putting on your skin before you put it on. It depends on all that. And I was telling her how, you know, a lot of times women don't buy a lot of fragrances because they, you know, they use a lot of the, 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 the creams and all that stuff from Bath and Body Works and all that stuff. I can imagine somebody using Bath and Body Works putting all that stuff on and then spray this on. What, what's the use? I mean, like, why would you layer something like this? You better off just keep it on Bath and Body Works. Why would you spend $280 for this knowing that you're lathering up with Bath and Body Works gels and lotions? On? It doesn't make any sense. I'm a naturalist. She's like, you know, you may want to layer. I don't want to layer. If it can't stand on its own by itself, I don't need to layer. Now, if I layer just off the tip, I just want to try something that's different. You know, I might have something more on. I might, I might. It's just rare. I'm not layering. So anyway, I'd like to thank uh, Ellen Brett and Nima Marcus, the King of Pressure, for the samples. And um, she gave me some nice samples. I'll talk about that another time with y'all because, again, I got to get in the bed and I want to upload this video. She gave me Silk Mood Oud by Mason Francis Kirk John. Satin Mood. Okay, so we'll be talking about that uh, next week. We'll be talking about those two. Um, we have another uh, uh, Armani here. And this is going to be, um, I think this is Rose Villarevi. She put out, no, this is Jade. Jade. Or Du Jade. She know she know how to say. It. I don't know how to say. It. I don't know the accents, whatever. But uh, I'll do Jade, and that doesn't smell too bad. But I'm not like a Neroli type guy. She was telling me how I could layer that with Cure Amethyst, which is what I have right here. I got Cure Amethyst, which I think is gonna be my next uh, Armani Privé. And Vetiver Babylon, man, this is really nice. I like Vetivers, man. This Vetiver Babylon is, is. I'm gonna put just a little bit on my finger. I really like it. It's like, it's real fruity. It's like, you know, it smells like orange. It has fig in this, actually, but it just smells so fruity. This is very nice. And this is, you know, I was about to, actually, I was going to go back and get this, but since the summer's about to end, well, not really, but if I can get this, like, on a different deal, because these are 165 uh, The Cure Amethyst is 265 But the uh, Veteran Babylon. And the Jade, I think maybe is 165 too. But I would try to get a little bit cheaper if I can. I probably like I don't even want to pay like a buck, maybe a buck twenty-five for hundred mil of that. Alright, by the way, this is hundred mil. Hundred mil juice. And uh that's all I got. Besides, I want to try out a Bond Manhattan. I heard that was kind of like it got like coffee and whatever, but it's nothing like I love New York for all. People give me props. Yo, man, I love you for all. It's the bomb, cuz you were right. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. It ain't about being right, man, cuz it might not have been right for you, but it's right for me. Just like this might not be right for you, but it's right for me. You know, dollar wise, money wise, whatever. It's the one that's popping, yo. So I'm down with that. I'd like to thank Rachel Brown from Boss yesterday. Went and saw some Boss gear. I think I'd give her some shout outs also. Tom Ford. I think her name was Elizabeth. She's new there. I think that's her name. I could be wrong, so somebody look at this video. Uh, the young lady downstairs and the um, who gave my samples. Uh, 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 I think her name was Elizabeth. Nice young lady. Thank her for treating me right. And Elizabeth Murphy in the Guerlain section in Nemes. We was talking about the bee bottles and, and the crystal bottles by Guerlain. The $25,000 bottles. And I told her, she said they have them up in Bergdorf in New York. So I told her if I go up there, I'd check them out. She was like, well, ask for such and such. You know, she'll show you the bee bottles and whatever. Actually, I thought bee bottles was like, not heavy, yeah, like bee material and stuff like that. Like bee is, maybe it was like a scratch or a crack. But her bee bottles was talking about, them doing like $25,000. I ain't know, I, 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 I know it's, that's what she meant by bee bottles. 
But anyway, that's what I got for y'all. So I don't know what my man said on his review, but I'm telling you, bam, dudes. If you want the ladies and it's not too strong, because she kept saying, oh, it's not strong. It's not strong at all. It's like just right. And, he, and I never sprayed the bottle. All came out my little sampler here. All right? Get that. If you have none of these in your collection, if you don't have anything fruity, if you don't have like a Herod or a Pure Havan, which is a little bit different. But I mean, something that's Tonka based. Tonka Imperial. Still, not like this. Tonka Imperial from Berlin is just not like this. I just can't get enough, man. I can't get enough. I went and saw my pillow tonight. I can't get enough, yo. I can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just pick up this, this, this I just pick up this guitar and write a song. That's how I get it. So anyway, today I was riding by this. Uh, somebody was doing a, a little yard sale. I picked this up today. Who is this made by? Fashion Park. Nice little jacket. Let's see what it looks like. Let's put it on. Oh, $2. Shoot, that's a better deal than, than thrift store. Definitely a better deal than a, than a consignment shop. I mean, but it's not a name brand jacket like this. My Fezzy here. Andrew Fezzy. Man, I dig this jacket. This jacket is real hot. I always like the patterns like that. And go nice with my yellow shirt. With that belt right there, how it's your boy. That's what we comment on the belt. Oh, that belt is nice. Oh, you got a nice belt. All right, or whatever. So I'm gonna put on this bad boy right here. By the way, I got on my uh my jeans. Oh, that's what I'm gonna mention. That I mentioned about my jeans. I want some nice, tight, straight leg jeans. They're nice and comfy for me. Some people are like, uh, yo, you, you shouldn't lose any more weight. And I'm like, why should I lose any more weight? <laughs> it's, it's amazing to me. Like, why shouldn't I lose any more weight? I mean, I don't understand why I shouldn't lose more weight. If you see, people look at me and they can't tell. They were so used to seeing me at 275, like, a couple years ago, being out of shape and fat. And I'm going to give props out to my to one of my relationships, one of my partners. I'll just say R.F.B. Cause if I had been in the shape that I am now, I probably would still be with her. I ain't noticed till later, but I should have got the hints. Know what I mean, so maybe she would reconsider, change her mind, and come back and be with me. Now that I'm kind of swell, but I'm not swell, swell. I'm still 230 pounds. I'm still 230. Where, where, is, where does it say that 230 pounds is is is? I mean, for a black man. 230 pounds might be bad, but most football players, whatever, you know, you built or whatever. I'm not really built, built, but you know, I, I got a little something, something, you know, I ain't got that belly, y'all know that, y'all know I ain't got that. You know what I mean? But you know, I'm a little thick down the thighs, I got the running back thighs, and then buying these pants, you know, the first time I'm able to fit in the pants like this, you know, slim jean pants. So why would I not want to lose any more weight? But see, that I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is with people, because that happened one time before when I lost weight, and they're like, oh, you like, you. Ah, you need me. You should me weight losing. Why should I lose weight if I'm healthy? If I'm a vegetarian, I'm healthy. I don't have any major ailments. I don't have diabetes. I don't have um, you know, any, anything that's contributed to being overweight. If I don't have that, and I know you don't have to be overweight to have diabetes or any ailments as well. But I'm just saying, if I'm not in that particular situation, at least right not right now, that I know of. Then, then why would I continue to lose weight? And then maybe if I get in that situation, I can I have a chance to kind of fight in that situation. But at this particular point, I mean, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight so I can get in the nice clothes. And this man, I saw this dude in these baggy jeans, and I'm like, nobody wearing that no more. But I guess people still are wearing baggy jeans. I mean, the jeans are just freaking big on each leg. And I was like, I, mean, I, I used to actually wear stuff like that. But you know, becoming a vegetarian, like I say, a part-time pescatarian because I do eat shrimp and fish when I'm out. You know, uh, and just eating better, eating healthier, eating fruit, you know, smoothies and, you know, organic cereal and organic milk. And, you know, just doing that for myself. Why why should I not want to lose any more weight? So one one commenter said, oh, like I'm getting a big bubble head or whatever. So, I mean, I'm going to have a big head and a little body. I don't care as long as I'm healthy. 
The other person that said, you just don't lose no more weight. Why should I not lose any more weight? I don't, yo, y'all tell me. Now, don't, don't go throwing no haters and all that stuff. It's not even about that. It's, it's not even about people not wanting to see you be healthy or improve yourself or whatever. It's a little warm back here in the lab, y'all, gear on. But um, it's just that people aren't used to seeing people losing weight and becoming healthy. I mean, unfortunately, I know a brother, he lost weight, he did what he had to do, and then he's starting to gain it back. That's not really a good thing. You know what I mean? Because my thing is never to grow back that weight, to never see 250 ever, to never see 240 ever again in life. You know what I mean? So I'm tying it right now between 230 and 233. I, I can, I can, because how much water I drink during the day. I can drink a lot of water, which I do, and I can go to bed the night and be 236, and I wake up in the morning, I'm 230. My body is constantly, my metabolism is constantly running because I eat before I go to bed, just a little something. Like tonight I'll eat a plum before I go to bed, so on and so forth. So that's what I do, but for somebody to say, man, you don't need to lose more weight or, you know, you need to lose more weight, you're going to have a bobble head. I'm like, well, you know, it's whatever, man. I'm just trying to be healthy. I'm trying to, I waited too late to do it. I waited till I was 52 to decide that I want to be healthy, but it don't matter. It's never too late to try to get your health right. And don't let yourself be in a threatening situation where it happens. And, you know, if something happened to you and you, now you in kind of some kind of better shape, you got a better chance of fighting it than, than to try to fight it when you know you kind of not in shape. You know what I mean? So I don't know what bequeaths me, what's in front of me in my life. I mean, I had a parent who, you know, both my parents left certain situations, certain ways medically, and uh, I'm just trying to avoid that. So that's the way I thought about it. I'm like, I want to live a long life. They live long lives, though. My father was 87. My mom was 76. So it ain't like, you know, I'm only 54. And I hope to see another 20 years, you know, Lord willing. But the whole thing is to take care of what I have right now the best I can and enjoy life and do this music, do these smell goods, do this fashion, do this commentary to try to help people. Not to brag, not to boast, but to help people. Right, with, how's the vegetarian life? I hear it all the time, man. How you feel about being a vegetarian? How's that? My cousin, when I went to visit her in Virginia, Felicia, same thing. How you making out? I'm still doing it, baby. You know I'm still doing it. You see what I'm doing? You know, she's trying to get up. She's trying to do it, but some things she can't let go of. And it's going to be like that. But that's okay. But the best way to do anything was you stop smoking, which I did back in 1994. You know, and I was piff-puffing, piff-puffing from time to time. I mean, sometimes I'm mostly around smoke, like in 151 last night. But I was getting it in there. night, 151. Boy! Uh! Uh, come on now, y'all know how I do. Uh, yeah, so I was getting it in last night. You know, you're around smoke. But the whole thing is, you know, just trying to keep yourself out of position of being, you know, unhealthy. That's, you, you can't get everything, you know, but, you know, there's some things you can look up. And it's up to you to look it up yourself. I can't tell you what to do. I'm saying this vegetarian life is not hard at all. You just keep what in your refrigerator, what you need to keep in your refrigerator. And don't let nobody dissuade you from being healthy. Because they will do that. They see you try to do better for yourself. First thing you're going to try to do is try to stop. Automatically. Because they don't want to do that. And they don't want you throwing it up in their face. Don't do it. Never let your husband, your wife, your cousin, sister, brother, girlfriend, whatever. If you're trying to change your life for the better. You're trying to live a different lifestyle. You're trying to do something different. And they be like, oh, why are you trying to do that? Why you? Don't listen to them. Let them go. Cut them loose. Because they don't care about you. They don't care about you. They're selfish. They care about themselves. And they worry about you saying, well, why don't you try to, why don't you do it? It's just like church, you know what I mean? They go, people go get saved, especially women. Go get saved, well, I mean, you need to go get saved. Well, shut up, you don't even know what you're talking about. So anyway, that's what it's about. Do the best you can for yourself, for your mind, soul, body, and spirit. Do your thing. And, you know, have your own relationship. Don't let nobody tell you how you should conduct your life, conduct your relationship. Do what you got to do. And when I mean relationship, I'm talking about this relationship. Do your thing, all right? Ride real deep, cool. Separate yourself from the rest. Keep yourself away from the foolishness. Be a leader, not a follower. And you keep it heavenly, and you'll be just fine. Do your thing. Do you. Fragrances, fashion, music, commentary for the working man. If you don't have a job or you ain't looking for a job, don't even look at my video. Real talk. It'd be like this. It'd be like, just cut it off. <laughs>